Hey, it's Lexi from Pour More Art. I'm here to decorate one of our spider enclosures. You can find this enclosure on our website at pouremoreart.ca slash spider shop. I found this zombie figurine at a local store and thought it would be perfect for a Halloween themed decor sesh. So here we are. I'm putting down some substrate that is mixed with vermiculite and perlite to ensure that the moisture stays within the enclosure for as long as possible. I also got this 3D printed tombstone uh, to add into the enclosure to give that uh, zombie popping out of its grave kind of vibe. That is also why I covered the legs. I'm securing that tombstone in with the same substrate. I'm gluing 3D printed spider webs to the corners of the outside of the enclosure. Uh, this will just give me the opportunity to clean them uh, without disturbing the spider. So I decided to leave it on the outside. I'm using UV glue, which does require a UV light to cure and secure, like it, it dry the glue. Um, and I put that in all four corners just to give that super cute uh, viewing glass. I'm also installing some feeding dishes, but uh, in reverse. So they're kind of like ledges uh, or steps, I guess, for the, the spider. These are also available on our website. I'm also installing a feeding dish underneath the bottom port. This is perfect to uh, feed the spiders some mealworms or crickets without them falling into the uh, substrate. These are all secured using magnets. On the top glass, I'm adding a hide where uh, it's supposed to mimic the hammock that the jumping spider creates. Uh, and I'm putting that on the very tip top uh, so that the spider has a place to hide and feel safe. Putting it all together to make sure that nothing clashes and uh, and, and it did. <laughs> so I fixed it. Uh, and then here I am putting the final touches with some moss. I'm putting them in the corners of the enclosure. I don't want to overdo it. So I just put a little bit uh, of, of, the, of pieces like in the corner. Here's a close-up of the hide and our spider exploring its new home. Here I am just installing that top glass and the back door. And I'm putting in a bottle at the back filled with water just to also supply the spider with some fresh water for drinking through the cotton ball. I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, thank you for joining me on uh, this adventure decorating our enclosure. I'll leave you with a few clips of uh, our spider exploring its new home and we hope to see you soon.